So today I'm going to do what I'm calling a graffiti sign. I was driving the other day and I saw a train and it had that, uh, what they call tagging, I guess, on there where they draw the graffiti or paint the graffiti on there. And I saw that and I said, man, that would make a really cool looking sign. So I looked around, I downloaded a graffiti font and then uh, I transferred this thing out. If you're interested on how I do my transfers and everything, I've got several videos that goes through the whole process on my, it's called Teach Me Software. I'll put a link down in the description for that. So I got this thing transferred on here and I'm just gonna take a pencil. There's a couple lines that didn't come through solid. So I'm just gonna hit those with my pencil. And I did a practice piece on this because I tried, I'm doing something different. I'm gonna do these inset letters so I'm going to take my my profile bit and I'm going to come around the insides of all the letters and then I'm going to come in and do my texture background inside of the letters. And then so the only thing that will be routed out is actually inside the letters. And then I'm going to come back and uh, I don't know how well it's going to work out. I've got some colored inks ordered, uh, stencil inks. So I'm going to try and do multi-colors multi in there too to really make it look like graffiti. So I did a practice cut with this because I've never cut letters like that before and one of the things I figured out is it gets confusing when you're sitting there staring inside your router on what side of some of these lines you're going to be in so I'm just going to do this right here everywhere I got the pencil marks that's where I'm taking out now I could have printed this thing solid ink but one of the things that I do and that's one of the videos I have on my channel is how to make outlines of any letter and the reason I do that is just because I don't want to print. That would be a tremendous amount of ink printing this whole thing. So I print them outside lines on the letters and then I come back in. And if I need to, I'll just do this just to help me as a guide. So basically everywhere where the pencil mark is, I'm cutting out. So anyway, I'm going to get set up. I'm going to cut out with my profile bit first. And I'm going to set it at just a little over an eighth of an inch. I'm going not quite as deep because of the different multicolors of paints. I think I'm gonna be better not going quite as deep on this one. I normally go 3 16 so I'm gonna go just a little over an eighth of an inch with my profile bit, and then I'll come back and do the texture background with a 60 degree bit.
Okay, so I got it all routed out. I got my background in. Pretty happy with it. I don't think I made any mess ups that I can tell. I didn't knock any of my little chunks out in the middle of the letter. So, uh, I want to take a brush just to get any any loose little, what I'll call fuzzies in there. Sometimes you have little fuzzy pieces that'll kind of stick in there. So just take a, a stiff brush and brush it out real good. Okay, I got that brushed out. I'm gonna go ahead and sand it one time and get rid of my ink marks off the top before I start painting. Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm gonna put some sanding sealer on it and then we'll get ready to start painting it. Okay, so I'm going to put some sanding sealer on this before I do my paint. That just helps keep the paint from absorbing down into the grain of the wood. So I'll just put a quick coat of that on there with my critter gun. A little bubble. This isn't critical right here. Just enough to coat that top of that board. So we'll let that dry and we'll be ready to start painting it. Okay, so I've got this thing with a couple coats of sanding sealer on it now. And the first thing I'm gonna do before I start trying to paint this is I'm gonna do some masking. Uh, I don't want, I got a couple knots here and I for sure wanna cover those knots up well. So I don't want any paint leaking down in around those knots. So I'm gonna cover those up. I got that little one right next to the letter. I was hoping I wouldn't get that one in the letter, but I ended up getting it in there anyway. I was hoping it'd be down inside, but so I'll just, mask that off so i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to fast forward through this and i'm going to mask as much of this off as i can get and then uh, we'll be ready to put our first coat of paint on it okay so i've got my uh spray on stencil ink and I'm going to do multicolors on this, but I did a little bit of practicing with another board. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a base coat of yellow down first and let that dry. So I'm going to fill the whole board like I normally would with any other sign with yellow first. And then I'm going to come back and add my other colors on top of that. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let that dry, and then we'll be come back and we'll put the other co other colors inside of it. Okay, so this thing's dry. The yellow is dry now. So I've got some blue. I, I wish I'd had a royal blue, but all I could find was a dark blue, and then I've got an orange ink. So I'm just gonna kind of randomly go across here with some of these other colors and try and give it that graffiti look. So I'm actually kind of nervous on this. We'll just have to see how it goes. Okay, here goes nothing. And I'm gonna get some bleed through, I know, but. Okay, here goes some blue. That looks pretty good in these letters over here. So I'm gonna come right back with the orange one more time and cut her right across there. I don't know how well, hopefully the orange will cover the blue. I should have put the blue on last, I guess, but we'll see. I think that's gonna work. I'm just gonna go with that. And uh, I'll tell you what I may do. I may go ahead and hit yellow. One more time right there in that corner, just to kind of distinguish that yellow out a little bit. There we go. Okay. And the only problem that I have is that I got some yellow colors 
under on those ledges and stuff. You can see that, but I don't know how I could really cover those. So I think I'm just going to let that go and it'll all just kind of blend in with that graffiti type look. So anyway, so I'm going to let this dry and then we'll come back and we'll sand it off and see what it looks like down inside the letters. Okay, I've given this thing some time to dry, so let's go ahead and remove the tape off and we'll give it a sand. Now, I know I realize I put a lot of paint on this or this ink, but I kind of had to to get this. I buried that one piece in there where I had that on that knot. So, uh, but uh, the sanding sealer should help that remove off. So I've got, I've got two sanders here. I got one with 150 grit to start with to take this off with. And then once the get the majority of the paint off, then I should be able to sand it down smooth. Okay, so let's clean it out and see what it looks like. Well, I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna do just a little bit more sanding off camera and we'll come back and then we'll put a coat of finish on it and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm just gonna put, right now I'm gonna start out with, I'm just gonna put a coat of sanding sealer on this again because that's what I had on it previously. And then I'll come back and put another, probably a spar urethane, water-based spar urethane on it. So here goes. Okay, there it is. That looks pretty awesome. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Uh, please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.